YouTube Bureau Spider Adventure Miller. Today I finally have the Dart Zone Max Outlaw, and right off the bat, I have to say this is probably my favorite blaster of the year. It is a very smooth revolver sense that works very smoothly and a very better way than the Deuce Pro before it. So let's get into it. There is no instrument barrel look because this is a Dart Zone blaster. Down below, I believe this is somewhat of a rail. This looks like one of the older dart zone rails that it seems like you can put on an attachment but it would probably be too loose um up above we do have the front iron sight which corresponds with the rear iron sight and the sight picture is actually very beautiful and you can actually hit some stuff with this which is very smooth and down below we do have the cylinder the cylinder can actually move freely as you're moving it but it can also pop out and that will go into the accessories later but the include cylinder is six rounds and to load it, you just take your darts and you shove them into the front like this. It's a very smooth system. And then, of course, just reapply that. It's just pressure built in. So you always have it ready. Um, back behind, we do have a uh, trigger safety. So protruding on this side, when you can feel it, you're safe. Push it in and you're able to fire. Down to the trigger. The trigger pull is a very smooth, crisp pull. And this blaster does not have slam fire. But it is nice because you can deep prime the blaster. And which, of course, brings us to the hammer. So this is a metal hammer. To prime it, you do that. The prime itself, it can be pretty heavy. This isn't one that you want to kind of... I don't know. You can't really run this fast unless you kind of use your other hand to do it. But overall, it's a very smooth hammer. And it's surprising for the amount of power that this thing has. And then, of course, when you're primed and ready, you can just fire which is a very smooth operator. And then my, my dart. And, and then, of course, back to the grip. The grip itself is very comfortable. It is a very solid grip. It's I just can't reiterate how comfortable it is. It's a very smooth, filleted grip that really compensates for this a massive kind of beauty that is this blaster. That is an external overview of the Dart Zone Max Outlaw. To go over the externals, this thing looks so much like a revolver. Like, you put this up against a shadow, this literally looks like one of those, um, I think, 357 Magnum kind of guns. I can't fully remember if that's the revolver that this kind of looks like, but it's a very smooth blaster, and I like how it looks the exact same on both sides, except the other side just has screw ports. And again, I just have to reiterate, this hammer... It's very smooth. And something that I also forgot to mention is uh, you can actually prime back the hammer and move to the next dart. It's just a kind of nice little thing. Like if you have like an empty chamber and you don't want to dry fire, you just move to the one that does have a dart and then. So yeah, enough talking about this. I will show you firing. With included accessories in action, there are included max starts. Now cycling two different half lengths, I've got the Adventure Force ones from Walmart, which are essentially Dark Zone again, and then the included new X-Shot ones from the X-Shot Pro Long Shot. Thank you again, X-Shot, for checking out my Long Shot review. Of course, this thing is phenomenal. It works well. It feels awesome. It just, it's so smooth and comfy and ergonomic. It's so good. It makes me really like reconsider what is my favorite revolver now. And of course, something I forgot to go over in the accessories. Of course, uh, the included darts on goggles. Um, eye protection is good. I just particularly don't like these. I prefer regular sunglasses, as you guys saw in my Blaster Bash video. I just prefer regular sunglasses. These just don't really cut it for me, but they're a nice option, and I really appreciate Dart Zone for doing this because it's better eye quality than what Nerf can give us. 
but it is. And then, of course, like you saw, just an extra cylinder, which means theoretically you can buy two of them and you can have four cylinders to just bang, 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 bang. So, yeah. And I dropped that one. Ugh. And a little something I actually forgot to go over that I found kind of funny. So, theoretically, this thing's so powerful, you can actually take a full length dart, shove that in there, make sure it's in the metal barrel. Kind of push it back, prime it, and the cool thing is you can shoot it. Okay. Even though, of course, that was an elite dart, so of course it's not going to be the most accurate in the world. But overall, it's kind of cool that you could just scavenge darts, pick this up quickly, get it in there for a quick shot, duck, and then... Hey, nailed in the tree. But overall, to the chronograph data, from what my memory, this thing shot about, I think... 132 with their included darts. I know the new Bamboo X, I can't remember what they're called, the Bamboo X2 darts uh, perform way better than this. I have gotten a chance to use some of the Bamboo darts, as you saw again in the Blaster Bash when I actually got to test this thing out. But overall opinion on this is it's extremely positive. I love this thing. I was in love with it when I used it up at the Blaster Bash, and now I'm in love with this. It's just, it's so smooth. It's so cool to use, and it's just, it's very nice. It's very well made. The one thing I remember Dart Zone really talking about is when they were talking about this one, is it's a full metal internal, because you can barely see it, but there's a metal barrel inside, which of course aids in the performance, but also the immense accuracy. But there's a lot of metal internals in here, and the way that this system works that's different from the Deuce Pro is there's actually a spring in here which kind of helps with the rotation as you prime, it rotates the spring inside, which will then rotate to the next dart smooth. The um, the, uh, du the Deuce Pro had a uh, breech pusher, which wasn't really the most accurate, and when, then when you prime it back, the last pull would rotate the cylinder, and if you did it too fast, you could rotate, and it just it was a frustrating system. But now to, m to the question to buy or not to buy, go buy, go buy this. It is so worth it if you're looking for a good sidearm that's on the shelves for Dart Zone. Of course, the Mark II 2.1, they're available on their website. And of course, they're more ergonomic pistols. But for the Revolver fanboys, go get yourself this. This is a beautiful thing. Does it replace the Hammer Shot? Of course not. But this is definitely replaced the Deuce Pro. Like, I remember you, you guys probably remember me raving over the Deuce Pro. But now that this is out... I don't see a reason anymore to get the Deuce Pro because this is a much more smoother blaster. It works better. It, you barely have a problem with it. And it's it's a very cool system that I just adore. Thank you, Dart Zone, so much for making this. And I cannot wait to see what else you got, even though I hear you guys are going with Stranger Things with a new pistol and a bat, which I will probably talk about in another video. But overall... Very positive review on the Max Outlaw. I really recommend you pick it up. Thank you so much for checking out my review, guys. Much love, blast on, and stay tactical.